so George, obviously to start the season off with a win and an emphatic win at that, can't get much more pleasing than that, can it? No, I thought the boys were really good. I think there was some uh, principles we've worked hard on in pre-season and um, boys stuck to the plan. They, uh, they were brave in the moments within the system that allowed themselves to show their individual skills. But um, yeah, I was really pleased with them. And I know you mentioned after the game the work that, work that James Lightfoot-Brown had put into the attack. How pleased were you with the bits that you'd started to see coming through from that? Yeah, I, I thought there were some really strong moments. I thought George ran the game really well and I thought the boys worked really hard off the ball to put themselves in good positions. Um, and some of it came you know, to fruition really well. There was, there's plenty for us still to improve on, obviously. But yeah, really, really pleased. Lights has worked hard. You know, The boys are bought into the system. I say there's still a, a good while to go, but... Yeah, the initial signs were pleasing. And you mentioned the young players being brave. It's always hard, isn't it, as a young player to short, sort of showcase yourself. So that must have been impressive. Yeah, it's difficult because, you you know, you play through the youth ranks and then you come out into the men's game. It's very, very different. And you play in front of big crowds and, um, you know, you, you want to put your best foot forward. And, and sometimes you, you just got to be brave. And, you know, we, we have an environment where you can go for it and, you know, no one's going to get on your back for making a, an honest mistake as long as you work hard. Um, and the boys did that. They worked really hard and there was a couple of times we did push our luck. It didn't come off, but that's not a drama. You know, we learn from that. We get better. And, um, you know, I want the boys to use the, the individual brilliance that got them this far. And is that te testament to your other coaches and the senior players that the young guns are will go out there and try things? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got a, a very good coaching group here. We've got a really good group of players and, and senior players. And yeah, the, the, everybody in the building knows there's no problems with making mistakes. The, there's the only problems you've got if you don't work hard, basically. But, um, you know, that's not the case here. And um, you've got a license to play and, and play what you see. And um, yeah, that's, that's a, a challenge as a youngster, finding that balance of when to go and when not to go. But for the most part, I thought we got that right. And how important of a role have TRT and Tim played in the development of some, some of those players that were out there? Yeah, I mean, look, Timmy's outstanding, as we know. And, you know, he's got a, a real, real um, good way with, with the younger players and, and helping them get better, but also pushing them hard and keeping them on track. And, um, you know, TR's come in this year and obviously was a slightly unknown. But, uh, you know, we did a lot of... Uh, track record stuff on him and a lot of conversations and, and he's been brilliant as well and, and he's got the forwards in a really good spot and um, the two of them combined are becoming very, very close uh, as a unit, uh, maybe too close, but um, they've already been on holiday together. So they're running that really, really well and the young lads are working really hard and, and now they've got a, an extra layer, if you like, where they can go to and, and um, have a, a soft shoulder if they need it or, or maybe the, the sharper end if they need that as well. And how much confidence will that win give, not just the younger players, but the whole group going forward? Yeah, it was really important because it was our first hit out of the season. You know, we've had a good pre-season, but pre-season's only pre-season until you get to the games. And as you say, we got lights in to put some systems in place. Um, you know, we wanted to see if, if we go for it, where we can get to with that. And, you know, I thought Dom's defence was ferocious as usual. So the boys fitted back into that well. And um, yeah, look, it's, it's only a first hit out, but we're pleased with what happened. And obviously tough conditions as well. So all that hill running would have come into, yeah. come into practice. Yeah, the, the weather last week was was the best weather we've had all summer. And I mean, it was extremely hot. And uh, obviously, as the game went on, there was a few cramps and a few lads we we brought off. You know, while they were, um, you know, uh, it was catching up with a few of them a little bit. Some of them have had lengthy layoffs, and they were just coming back for their first game as well. So um, good, good to get out in that sort of conditions. Good to be tested properly and. Um, yeah, look, it was massive fitness blast and endurance blast with those conditions as, as well as a tough game. And obviously this week, Saracens away. It doesn't matter sort of who takes the field for Saracens. When you play them away, it's always a tough game, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Saris are they're the champions of England, aren't they? So they're well-oiled. They know what they're doing. You know, they've uh, had those coaches in place for a good long while and, and uh, Mark McCall's had his systems there for, for ages. So, um, you know, we, we know it'll be a real challenge this weekend. We know uh, it's never, ever easy going there. You don't win too often there. So, you know, we've, we've got to be at our best. And obviously they're coming off the back of that defeat to Coventry, who we've still got to play as well. So do you think they'll be looking for a little bit of a bite back after that? Yeah, I mean, you know, Saris will never take losing lightly. That's for sure. We, we know that they're... Uh, they're used to winning more than losing. But I think Coventry are a good side. You know, we, we know how good they are. We sent a couple of players there 
Um, got a good relationship with them and have watched plenty of their rugby over the last year when we've had people there. So they're they're a very good side. I don't, I don't think we'd uh, disregard Coventry in that how good they were in that victory. But yeah, I'm sure you know Saris will be uh, licking their wounds and and they'll be getting ready for us to come down. And is the main message to just keep building on that momentum now you've started it after the first game? Yeah, look, we're, we're very focused on ourselves. You know, we've so we've had a good pre-season. We want to put that into match practice now and, and we want to be good when the games come. So the focus is on us. Um, we know, you know, we did lots of good things, but we also know we missed some, some good opportunities and we missed a few bits, especially towards the end. You know, we had a five metre play at the end there that we, we gave back to them. So there's lots for us to improve on. There's, there's lots and lots of work to be done. Um, and that's exciting, I think. And I guess coming away with the win, but also having a lot to work on can only be a positive thing, can't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, you you always you always sort of come away with with bits that are frustrating and uh, and you want to get better. But I think you know we expected to be at a certain level, and um, you know we expect to play at a certain level, and we're happy to put that pressure on ourselves. But uh, we did not acknowledge before the game this is not going to be perfect, and we're going to have to ride out a few storms. And that was with what Nottingham brought, but also you know, not get frustrated. We're making a few mistakes. So um, we'll go in with that attitude again this weekend. Perfect. Thanks, George. Thanks a lot.